Let's find out what's down the road now for unions with Andy Challenger of Challenger Grand Christmas, who's on the job for us today. Hello to you, Andy. Yeah, well, in a year that's notable for being one of the most active force strikes in nearly a generation, this is a major uh, agreement for the United Auto Workers to come to with the biggest players in Detroit uh, at the near end of the year uh, with huge concessions being made by the largest automakers in the world. Uh, nearly a 25% increase in wages over the next few years with cost of living adjustments built into the schedule. Uh, this was a real concession uh, for those large automakers and will be playing out over the next decade as we see some of those labor costs built into the price of vehicles going forward. Uh, we will see as these major automakers try to transition over to a new generation of more electric, more self-driving and autonomous cars as they're grappling with uh, some really serious increased labor costs. Uh, this is a, a major news story and clearly a win for the United auto workers. I'm hearing that other industries are now closely watching what happened with the big three automakers. Although there are some questions around that uh, more recently as the, the labor uh, dynamics have shifted back with the overall cooling economy to something that we tended to see more common in the pre-COVID times. Uh, there are some real questions out there, but this is a serious uh, movement win for labor unions uh, that have been gaining traction over the last few years. Thank you, Andy. Thanks for having me on, Angie. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.